Okay, this is how I'm powering the Redivis RA87 for this test. We're going to do a little bit of testing. I'm in very hilly western North Carolina, so the range does suffer with all the hills and the trees, but we did some testing and the radio performs pretty good considering. I'll roll in my unboxing video at the end of this just in case you missed that one. Okay, testing the radio. One, two, three, testing the radio. I'm on a handheld, a uh, seven watt handheld. I'm about a mile away. Testing one, two, three, four, and we're in a little bit of a hilly area, so about a mile for the handheld is probably what I can do. I'm going to test uh, the 40 watt radio over to another 25 watt Redivis radio here in a bit, and see if I can get uh, five or six miles in this uh, hilly terrain. So anyway, testing one, two, three. How does that sound on receive? I'm about a mile away with a handheld. Okay, I'm transmitting to the handheld. We'll see what the audio sounds like coming through the handheld. Testing one, two, three. Testing the transmit quality of this microphone on the Redivis. This is a 40 watt mobile unit. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Okay, Lexus one to base. Can you give me a count to five? Give me a count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm about two and a half miles away, two and a half miles away right now. The first place I could pull over. You're coming through loud and clear, loud and clear. I'll radio you in a couple more miles, 10-4. Okay. Okay, I'm about four miles away now. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. How do you receive? Yeah, you're still breaking up a little bit, but I can hear you. Uh, how clearly can you hear me? All right. All right, so this is very hilly around here. That's the issue is all the hills and the trees really break it up, uh, depending on how far I am away. All right, thanks again. This is the end of the test. Okay, we're taking a look at another Redivis radio. This is a two-way mobile unit. It could also be used as a base station. And this is the RA87. This puts out 40 watts. And I haven't figured out yet if this can be unlocked to handle other frequencies like ham frequencies. Let me know in the comments if you think it can. Uh, but I have unlocked other Redivis units in the past that, that expand the uh, frequency capabilities. So this is just an unboxing video to show you everything that's in the box. And I will be doing a full review, maybe a couple of reviews, as I experiment with this radio and play around with it. But it is solid. It feels very solid in the hand. Seems to be exceptionally well made. Some other reviewers have said that the microphone is a little bit lightweight, but it seems fine to me. Uh, all these are lightweight nowadays. Uh, but so far, it looks very solid. I'm going to roll in some photos also. I, when I do an unboxing, I like to show people everything that's in the box because sometimes there are some questions about that. And so I like to roll in some photos just showing everything in detail so people can pause their computer and study whatever they want to study about the radio. But this is very solid. That heat sink on the bottom is very solid. And so another impressive radio from these folks. Red of us, they, they take their time and they do it right. And I haven't had one of their radios fail on me. They've all been bulletproof reliable. And this one, I'm sure, is going to be no exception to that rule. But I'm going to check it out over the next couple of weeks and really do some testing on it. And I'll be able to let you know, you know, what I find in the field actually using it. it you know, these things, you have to actually get them out and beat them around and use them and figure out, are they really rugged? Are they really going to you know, hold up in the outdoor environment because people are going to put these in Jeeps and so on and so forth. And sometimes they might get rained on a little bit. So I want to put it in some real world tests and find out what's going on with this radio. So stay tuned on this channel and do subscribe and share some comments about these radios. What experiences have you had?